Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Well, take a look at this. Barbecue, bacon, and cheddar cheese meatloaf. That's right. It's so easy and delicious. Let me show you how I make it. Well, I'm using this little chopper to help me uh, speed up some of my uh, chores. I've got about a half of a very small onion and with one little push, there, diced onion. And you can also use it to grate your cheese and so I'm going to grate some cheese to go in this dish. Like I said, it's a barbecue, bacon, and cheddar cheese. And so there we have the cheese grated. I hope things are going well for you. Now we want to get a bowl and want to see about how much cheese. Three quarter cup of nice cheddar cheese. And then the onions, about a third cup of diced onions doesn't have to be precise. One teaspoon of minced garlic. Take a look. Okay. And now one half teaspoon of seasoned salt. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And one teaspoon of yellow mustard. Okay. Let's get a spoon and give this a quick stir. Mix these together. All right, now I'm going to get the scale out just to make it easier to measure this. Three ounces or 85 grams of chili sauce. Okay, give that a quick stir. Do you like meatloaf? Well, we need one egg. And then I have three pieces of cooked bacon that I'm going to crumble into the bowl. So that's three slices of cooked crumbled bacon. Give that a quick mix. We want to break up that egg as well. Get it all combined. All the ingredients will be listed in the description box below. And now we're going to put some crackers. These are firecrackers. I have a link showing you how I make these firecrackers and I'll put that in the description box as well. And we want to crush these up. If you don't have firecrackers, just regular saltine crackers will work, or breadcrumbs, just like that. We want about a quarter of a cup. This measuring cup is a one-third, so it's not quite full. About that much, give or take just a little. And now for the ground beef, one pound of ground beef. Now I'm making a small meatloaf because it's just myself and my wife. If you wanted to double the recipe for a larger meatloaf, well, of course, that's all you'd have to do. Just double all the ingredients and hand mix this together just like that. And then we'll put it in a baking pan. And I'll press this into a loaf shape. If you like your meatloaf really firm, well, you want to press it and really compact it. Well, I'm not doing that on this one. I'm going to keep it nice and soft. And I'm putting a trench, can you see that, right in the middle. And that's going to hold extra barbecue sauce. So a little indention or a trench or whatever you want to call that. And now barbecue sauce. And I fill up that center area, that little trench area. And then get a brush and then brush the top and on the sides, a little on the sides of the meatloaf. Now it's ready to go in to the air fryer. So I... Put it in the air fryer and I'm going to cook this at 375 degrees. 15 minutes at 375 and then drop the temperature to 300 and let it go for another 15 minutes for a total cook time of 30 minutes. That's all it takes to get this cooked and ready to go. And that's it. It's ready. So now it's time to pull it out and enjoy it. Barbecue bacon and cheddar cheese meatloaf. This is what it looks like. Oh my, it smells so good. Do you like barbecue? Well, I think you'll like this. So let's plate this up and have lunch. What do you think? Nice and hot. Let's have a taste. Oh yeah, that's good. Well, that's it. Barbecue meatloaf, barbecue bacon, and cheddar cheese meatloaf in the air fryer. I hope you give it a try. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. 
Bye now.